Hi guys, happy New Year's Eve or New Year, depending on where you're watching from. I'm actually coming to you from my parents' apartment. That's actually one of my dad's beautiful pieces right there. And we're getting ready to ring in the new year. But before we do, I have a promise to fulfill to you guys. So here is my video response number five. My first question came in from Chris Molly from Annapolis, Maryland, and I'm so incredibly grateful to Chris because he actually is uh, one of my most devoted, loyal followers. He actually commuted in November to New York City to come and hear my Carnegie Hall uh, concert, and it just was so incredibly moving to see him there. So thank you so much, Chris, for all of your support and for your wonderful question. He actually asked me who has been my mentor and in what ways. And I have to say, this question really made me think quite a bit. And I may possibly surprise you, Chris, but I don't believe I necessarily have had a mentor uh, in my life, like this kind of all-knowing Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of figure <laughs> that has opened the door to wisdom uh, in my life. I have had wonderful teachers and just so many inspiring figures in my life, first and foremost, my parents. But when it comes to figuring out the journey, I really was drawn to things that were so new and so unusual that um, there never was anyone to look around and ask, well, how did you do this? Or what should I do here? It just was uh, one of these where I had to sort of be the sculptor and the marble. I just had to carve it out on my own. And actually looking back, I'm incredibly grateful for that because that taught me uh, the incredible irreplaceable value of hard work. You just, um, you just work your way through it and you figure things out. And so uh, thank you so much for that question because it really made me look back and I, I appreciated this uh, crazy, crazy journey I've had so far, all the ups and downs and all of it. It's a, it's a beautiful uh, feeling. Uh, and the second question came in from um, Jean Kiklikian from Venezuela, a pianist. And Jean asked me a beautiful, very vulnerable, but very important question um, asking, have you ever had a moment where you feel like you're not growing? And how do you handle that feeling? I cannot thank you enough for being so open and asking this because I think we classical musicians especially tend to be very guarded and make ourselves look like we're some all-knowing geniuses. But absolutely, uh, we have these moments and I most definitely have had moments like that and continue to have them it's just a normal part of the journey where you just hit uh, a wall and things are just not progressing in these moments uh my approach is always to kind of press pause and recalibrate and i absolutely love to go back and look at times where things were working look at a certain successful peak moment and if possible, I would definitely advise you to do, actually keep a uh, detailed journal. I have been a loyal uh, believer in journaling since my teenage years, and I cannot tell you how helpful uh, a tool that is because it's almost like you have this recipe book or record of things that have worked and things that have not worked. And when you're hitting a wall and things are not going uh, the way you want them to, it's amazing to go back to, again, that successful moment to see, ah, this is what I was doing, this is where my headspace was, and that's why it worked. And then you just bring that and apply it to the present moment. So it's a really, really nice way to shift your perspective. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you've ever done any journaling or are, are open to it, I'd be really curious actually to hear. Uh, and in conclusion, guys, uh, if you still have any questions to ask, this is it. Tomorrow is the last day of this little Q&A that we are doing. So put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to make it um, a part of my video response tomorrow. And before I say my farewell to uh, 2019, I have a hugely exciting announcement. I had briefly told you about the Patreon um, 
possibility when I was bringing the 365 day project to a close. So I am indeed going ahead with it. So very, very excited. So tomorrow, January 1st, I'm launching my Patreon account and we'll begin there the new cycle of the 365 day project. Um, and by joining me there, you can enjoy these daily posts and also have the opportunity to have these little um, direct Q and A's and all kinds of um, uh, ways uh, to connect with me and communicate with me um, and the support that I receive from you guys on Patreon will be used to do a whole bunch of new recordings and video shoots um, all these really really big projects that I'm excited and hoping to bring to life in this new year so I will post the link to my patreon in the description box below I hope so much you can join me there uh, whether you do or not I will still see you I'll be very active on all my social media platforms and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you for being here for following my journey and giving me the chance to make music for you uh, it's just been such a joy and I cannot wait to continue it on in the year 2020. Happy New Year and see you in 2020.